Hello, howdy, welcome back to the second channel. What I have for you today is some GTA leaks. Now, GTA 6, I'm waiting on that to come out. Now, we're going to be reacting to some GTA 6 leaks. And uh, if you guys, you know, enjoy the video, just make sure, you know, give it a like so it can spread to everybody on the YouTube platform. Subscribe so we can run them numbers up. Let's get it. DR2, while others are entirely new to the series. Before you ask about the source, let me explain. Everything is based on the September 2022 leaks analysis made by the GTA 6 Reddit and Discord community, as well as the people from GTA forums. So let's get straight into it. One of the most intriguing new mechanics revealed in the GTA 6 leaks is the ability to carry bodies. In one of the clips, an online avatar is seen carrying the body of another player. The debug menu even specifies this with the text, carry slot, human chest. This feature opens up a realm of possibilities for gameplay. Another new feature that stands out is the ability to pick up various items in the game world. Clips have shown characters picking up beer bottles, cans, car parts, boxes, and even hats. This goes be- Oh, so you get to pick up, like, actual stuff off the ground, okay. Beyond the usual weapons and health packs, indicating a more interactive environment, these items could be used in crafting, as distractions, or even as makeshift weapons. It opens up the possibility for more varied mission objectives and puzzles. Gone are the days when NPCs were just bystanders or obstacles during your criminal escapades. In GTA 6, you can rob, threaten, and even talk with NPCs during robberies. This suggests oh, a more interactive and immersive experience where your choices could have immediate consequences. For instance, threatening an NPC could make them more likely to comply, but it could also escalate the situation, drawing more attention and making your getaway more challenging. This feature could make each robbery a unique... That's a big one. Cause it's so annoying because when I used to play GTA 5, I would try to walk by the NPC. It's so annoying when you can't like talk to them, especially when you go into the casino and you see them dancing. You can't really re react, like talk to them. Like it, it makes no sense. Like experience, influenced by how you choose to interact with the NPCs involved. In various clips, Lucia appears to have different body types, particularly around her waist. In some footage, she looks noticeably thinner compared to other clips. This has led to speculation that GTA 6 might feature a dynamic system that reflects a character's physical condition based mm -hmm. on their actions or lifestyle within the game. If this is true, it could be the first time this feature makes a comeback from GTA San Andreas. Similarly, Jason's physique seems to vary between different scenes. In one video, where he's at a motel pool with Lucia and another character, he appears very muscular and fit. However, in other clips, such as when he and Lucia are walking out of the motel and in the nightclub, Jason appears to have a skinnier- Okay, so this is the girl right here. I did see her on... When I was scrolling on YouTube shorts, I did see this is the girl character that's going to be in GTA. Okay. Your body tone and his muscles are less visible. Seeing your character's body change based on their lifestyle choices and activities is definitely something we need in the upcoming game. Borrowing a page from Red Dead Redemption 2, GTA 6 appears to feature an eagle eye system. In the leaks, this ability seems to be associated with Jason and is used to highlight items of interest like jewelry, safes, and security cameras. If this okay. feature makes it into the final game, it could significantly enhance the gameplay. It would definitely help while being in a high-stakes heist, where using the Eagle Eye system could mean the difference between spotting a hidden safe or missing out on a big score. Another feature that has caught the community's attention is the possibility of grappling during fistfights. While the leaks haven't shown this in great detail, the inclusion of grappling could revolutionize hand-to-hand -hand combat in the GTA series. No longer would fights be just a series of punches and kicks. Now you might have to master the art of grappling to gain the upper hand. Now what I think we also need besides that is the different fighting styles, just like in GTA San Andreas. Next of the interesting mechanics hinted at in the leaks is the under fire system. This feature allows characters to cover their faces with weapons or bats, and it even works while crouching. At first glance, this might seem like a minor addition, but think about the implications. Being able to shield your face could offer a tactical advantage during shootouts, perhaps reducing the chance of a headshot. It could also add a layer of realism to the game, as characters would naturally try to protect themselves when under fire. Going first, Further, what's been spotted in the leaks is the ability to drop and pick up weapons. While this also might seem like a basic feature, 
its inclusion could have a significant impact on gameplay, especially while being in a situation where you're out of ammo and need to quickly switch to another weapon on the ground. Or perhaps you find a specialized weapon that's perfect for a specific mission. This feature could also open up new possibilities for multiplayer modes, where players might have to scavenge for weapons or strategically drop them for teammates. Another intriguing feature is the downed self-suicide and downed self-revive options. These mechanics suggest that when your character takes a heavy hit to their health, you'll have options. And what I was thinking too was, this needs to be exactly like 5M. When people mod GTA, like on 5M, it, it, GTA 6 needs to be exactly like that. Everything needs to, needs to be real, realistic. Everything needs to be realistic. Every, not just the graphics, but just like real life, basically beyond just waiting to respawn or be revived by a teammate. The ability to revive yourself could be similar to the horse revival system in RDR2, where you have a limited window to get back into the action. Next one is the ability to switch shoulders while aiming. This seemingly small addition could have a significant impact on gameplay, particularly in combat situations. Being able to switch shoulders could offer tactical advantages, allowing players to adapt to different environments and angles more effectively. For example, if you're taking cover behind a wall and need to peek out from the left side, switching to the left shoulder could give you a better line of sight without exposing too much of your character. And let's not forget about the buddy comms, although the leaks haven't provided extensive details about it. Speculatively, this could be a system that allows for more expanded interactions with your in-game companions. It could make us able to issue specific commands, request assistance, or even engage in real-time tactical discussions with your AI or player-controlled teammates. This could make missions more collaborative and strategic, requiring effective communication and teamwork to succeed. And similarly, we have buddy Ping. While the specifics are also still unclear, this feature could allow players to mark locations or points of interest in real time, either for themselves or for their teammates. This could be invaluable in both single-player missions and multiplayer modes, providing a quick and efficient way to communicate objectives, dangers, or areas of interest. So far, we've delved into a variety of new mechanics and features that promise to make GTA 6 a groundbreaking experience. But now let's switch the gears a bit and talk about the new gameplay systems that could redefine how we interact with the world of GTA. One of the most interesting new gameplay systems is the possibility of owning and operating businesses. While the GTA series has dabbled in this concept before, GTA 6 could take it to a whole new level. We should be able to purchase a variety of businesses, from nightclubs and restaurants to illegal operations like drug running or arms dealing. Each business should offer unique missions, challenges, and revenue streams. This feature could also tie into other gameplay elements, like the rumored money laundering system, making your choices as a business owner even more impactful. Robberies have always been a staple of the GTA series, but GTA 6 seems poised to elevate this gameplay element. With features like enhanced NPC interactions and the ability to pick up various items, robberies could become more complex and strategic. You might have to plan your heist meticulously, choosing the right time, place, and method to maximize your loot while minimizing risk. Another intriguing new system is the Vehicle Discoveries or Compendium feature. In one of the leaked clips, Jason is seen riding a Maibatsu Sanchez, and the bottom right corner of the screen screen indicates that the player has found a new livery for it. This could mean a more detailed tracking system for vehicles, possibly allowing players to collect, customize, and even learn about the various vehicles in the game. Next on our list revolves around hacking. According to the leaks, Lucia carries a variety of hacking tools, including a tracker jammer, immobilizer bypass, USB drive, and auto dialer. This suggests a more intricate and detailed hacking system than we've seen in previous GTA titles. This also ties into Tom Henderson's old leak about a female hacker protagonist, further fueling speculation that hacking will play a significant role in the game. There is also the mention of Pragmatic Cool Chaotic and Romantic Cool Chaotic in the events list. While it's not entirely clear what these terms mean, they could indicate a more detailed personality or morality system in the game. For example, our actions and choices could affect your character's traits, which in turn could influence how NPCs react to you or even unlock specific missions or story paths. So a Pragmatic Cool character might be more calculated and rational, leading to different opportunities than a romantic chaotic one who might be more impulsive and passionate. One of the standout features spotted in the leaks is the ability to command your partner during a robbery. In the Hank's Waffles robbery video, there's a tip that prompts you to check in with Jason or hold for more options. This strongly suggests 
that you'll have the ability to issue specific commands to your partner during high-stakes situations like robberies. You might be able to tell Jason to surrender, thereby creating a diversion, or instruct him to follow you for a coordinated escape. This ability to command your partner during a robbery is yet another feature that promises to make GTA 6 a groundbreaking experience. It offers a new dimension of strategy and teamwork, making missions more complex and interactive than ever before. But there's more, because the community also found the witness system and police recognition in the leak in the same robbery video, you can see the term full description under the wanted level stars, suggesting that witnesses have a complete description of your character. It doesn't stop there though. Once Lucia enters a police vehicle, the description changes from no vehicle description to full vehicle description, indicating that the police now have detailed information about the vehicle you're in. Additionally, a text prompt on the top left side of the screen states, any vehicle you are seen entering will be known by the law. Moreover, during the same robbery, Jason is seen trying to prevent customers Customers, identified by a yellow icon above their heads from either calling the cops or running away. This suggests that controlling witnesses might be a crucial part of successfully pulling off crimes. You might have to decide on the fly whether to intimidate, incapacitate, or even eliminate potential witnesses to avoid attracting police attention. Let's shift our focus to the ability for characters to share items between them. In one of the leaked videos, Jason is seen stealing items from containers and selectively sharing certain items with Lucia. Shared items seem to generally include weapons that neither character can equip or weapons they already possess, as well as food and ammo that isn't specific to their current weapons. On the other hand, specialized tools like the immobilizer bypass and auto dialer are kept by the characters who can use them. In another video set at a gas stop, both Jason and Lucia are shown picking up items. Interestingly, when both characters pick up the same amount of food items, four times soda and two times wine each, they are seen sharing half of each consumable. This feature could be particularly useful in longer missions or in multiplayer modes, where resource management could be crucial for success. One of the subtler yet potentially impactful features spotted in the leaks is the ability to unlock doors and gates. In one of the videos set in the San For San Hood, Jason is seen sneaking in front of a red truck near an import garage building. The debug text for the door of the building reads, Door panel locked, indicating that the door is secured. However, another gate in the same area is marked as door unlocked. It looks like players might need to find keys, hack security systems, or use other tools to gain access to locked locations. This feature could tie into other gameplay elements, like the advanced hacking mechanics or the item sharing system. Money laundering is a feature that I've talked about in my previous video. It has been hinted at in the leaks and is something that could add an entirely new layer of complexity to GTA 6's gameplay. In the Hank's Waffles robbery video, an icon appears that is linked to a car wash property. The icon is a washing machine with a dollar sign in the center, universally recognized as the symbol for money laundering. This could be a game changer in terms of how players manage their ill-gotten gains. No longer would you simply accumulate money. Now you'd have to think about how to legitimize it. Imagine owning various businesses, each serving as a front for your criminal activities. You would have to balance the books, making sure not to raise suspicion while still turning a profit. Moreover, this system could also introduce new risks. Law enforcement could potentially audit your businesses if you're not careful, leading to legal troubles and even asset seizures. Another thing that was annoying that I hated about GTA 5 is that you were unable to go in random doors like you got all these doors you got all these buildings but you can't access them you can't even go in the buildings like it, it was just so and i hope they changed that about gta 6. You might have to hire accountants, pay bribes, or even engage in corporate espionage to protect your financial empire. But remember, take everything with a grain of salt until we hear from Rockstar or Take Two themselves. All of the features we know so far from the leaks can just be scrapped. But I think it's still nice to speculate while we're all waiting for the upcoming GTA. Make sure to let me know in the comments down below what do you think about all these features. And before we wrap up, I want to give a huge shout out to all my patrons for supporting my work and my channel. I really appreciate it. Yeah, man, hopefully we get GTA 6 real soon. Real soon. I'm waiting.